Macy's, Express, Pier One, even grocers like Earth Fair have announced store closings this year, and it's only February. It's a problem only likely to grow in 2020. Online shopping makes it easier to buy most of what we need, but it's making it harder for many stores to keep those doors open. But at the same time, as some retail businesses shrink, others are actually growing. Only News 5's Kevin Barry explains what it means for us. Clothes, bags, food, and so much more can show up on your door after a quick order online. But makeup... Yeah, yeah, there's always a bunch of people in there. ...is one product that bucks that trend. Savannah and Hannah won't buy it unless they've had a chance to try it in person first. It's really good to go to the store because if I want to have something but it's like not as good quality, then you can definitely tell at the store. In the last decade, financial reports from makeup companies like Ulta and Sephora show combined they've opened almost 2,000 stores over the past decade. Meanwhile, stores like Pier 1, Sears, Bed Bath & Beyond, and many more are reducing their brick-and-mortar footprint. It is not a smooth and 21st century process. Dr. Alad Grenot studies business and economics at Ashland University. He says many large retail locations have been wiped away in the Internet age. The actual acquisition of basic stuff certainly doesn't make any sense getting out of the house for. The impact is already being noticed all around our region. Richmond Town Square Mall is shrinking down its retail, has already added a storage facility, and will eventually tear down the old Sears to build residential space. The old Parma Town Mall got a nearly $100 million renovation to remove the traditional mall space and create the shops at Parma. Really becoming a, a significant shift where retail is going to be an experiential, thing that just is a part of acquiring whatever it is you need. That experience can be music, entertainment, or in the case of makeup sales, a place to test the product before shoppers buy it. The reason they're doing well is they're, they're adding another layer on top of just the transaction. Dr. Grenote says other retail stores can do the same thing, but many of them haven't figured out how to yet. If you don't attach an experiential component to it, I think you have no chance. You're on borrowed time. You're a dead store walking. In Cleveland, I'm Kevin Barry, News 5.